Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Ethereum follows my wave count and we are pushing higher. We did push higher overnight, which is good to see because um, Ethereum was expected to go higher in this third wave with a target in the 1400 region. Let's see if we actually get there. But um, this obviously isn't going to happen in one straight line. There will be waves, there will be sub waves and um, Ethereum seems to be in this in this third wave here in white of the third wave in yellow that is at least my current interpretation of it of course it can change but at the moment the trend is further up as long as ethereum is holding key support which is the last low at 1238 this is now of course relevant because this is um this is the white wave two low in the very short term, it's even important that Ethereum is holding here the 1252 level, which is the yellow wave too low. And then if we look at targets for the small yellow wave three, we can see that Ethereum has reached now the 1.618 extension, which is a perfect target for a wave three here in yellow. Yeah, the 1.618 extension is normally an ideal target for a wave three reached, which is perfect. And now I would expect very shortly for a wave four to start. Bear in mind, this is micro counting. They can be a little bit inaccurate, a little bit fragile. There's a lot of stuff going on on those lower time frames, but it would fit quite well. Here, the one hour RSI. If you take a look at the RSI, you can see we are already or were nearly, well, no, we were overbought on the one hour RSI. This can, without a problem, cool down a little bit now. Um, on the MACD, you can see as well that we're cooling down a little bit. This is only the one hour chart, but if we go a little bit higher here to the four hour, you can see that really only now we push higher into the bullish territory here on the four hour a bullish crossover. That indicates there is certainly more upside potential as expected, but that in the very short term, of course, we could cool down a little bit in a way four. Now, such a way four would really only be if it is a wave four, it would really only be something like what we've seen here. Yeah, this was also of a similar degree, a wave four, a little bit of a breather. Yeah, a little bit of a, of um, yeah, you know, just charging up for the next leg to the upside. And this is what I would expect here as well. Important, as I said, for Ethereum is to hold the 1260, uh, sorry, the 1252 um, level and for a wave four anyway important is to avoid getting into the wave one price region, which is 1267. And if we calculate just the retracements that you would expect for a wave three into a wave four, then it is this area, provided we've reached the top. I mean, we haven't really got a top signal, but quite a bit of a rejection. So yeah, maybe it really was finished here at the high of the wave B. And now we're waiting for a wave four and the wave four would get usually into this price region between 1292 and 1278 in a wave four before it can then push higher in a wave five of three of three. And this wave five of three should reach, and again, we can take targets here. We take the length of the wave one, and we have to make some assumptions where wave four will go to in order to calculate the target. Let's say we go to 1284 because this is the ideal target for a wave four. It usually is the 38.2% FIP level. Then first target for yellow wave five would be 1313. Yeah, that's the very first target. And the stretch target would be 1331, the 1.618 extension. This is then also where wave three should go to, wave four and Wave five would obviously go higher, but we have to consider that if we just take the target of a white wave three, that would actually take us way higher. So we have to consider something. As you can see, this would actually take us to 1487. So what we have to consider, we don't know that yet, is that this yellow five wave move that I'm sketching out here on the chart, one, two, three, four, five, it might become only the first wave of this white third wave. That's what we don't know exactly,
but I think the fact that the target for the white wave 3 is actually way higher, it would suge suggest that this might really only be the first wave of this third wave. Unless we do some kind of a diagonal pattern here, we will see that. I will keep you updated about that. But at the moment, what is important is that Ethereum is pushing higher. Ethereum is following the primary wave count and the next target for the bulls, as I said, needs to be breaking above that 1308 level. We need to break above the wave one high. Until we do that, theoretically, we could still be in this white wave too, yeah? So be aware of that. That's why I told you the key support levels that need to hold. If any of them breaks, it means watch it because it could mean that we are coming down further and this whole pattern is breaking. Yeah, so important is in the very first instance for a way four to hold now the 1278 level and I keep you updated. So hopefully you liked the update about ETH. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.